This is North America. The year is 1899. Civilization here is on a much different scale than it is today. It's been estimated that during this century, over 70 million people lived in the North American continent. But remarkably, with such a high population of human beings inhabiting the land, there are still vast quantities of the natural environment that have barely been touched by humanity. In this series, we shall be exploring the landscapes and wildernesses in a way that has never been seen before. These are the natural wonders of the five states. Our journey continues in the western state of West Elizabeth. This is the smallest state on the continent, but the landscapes here are the most colourful in the whole of North America. This majestic plant is lavender. And here in the big valley, it can be seen for miles around. But this plant is not native to North America. Brought here from the Mediterranean, the Middle East and India, it is grown commercially for the extraction of its oil. Lavender oil contains many important medical properties. It's used as a disinfectant, an antiseptic and an anti-inflammatory. In short, this plant is worth its weight in gold. Lavender, as well as other plants, can grow here in abundance. Due to the high levels of nutrients and minerals in the soil, it has become the perfect environment. But to the south of the Big Valley lies a place of shocking contrast. These vast open spaces are the Great Plains. With the relentless heat from the sun and continuous strong winds, it has removed nearly all moisture from the soil. This landscape has been reduced to a dust bowl. But despite this, the Great Plains of North America support some of the largest gatherings of wildlife on the entire continent.
At the heart of all that happens here is one single living thing. Grass. Grasslands exist where there is a little rain but not enough to sustain a forest. But the grass that grows here is just enough to keep life ticking over all year round. The animals that live here depend on this miraculous plant in order to survive. But there is a part of the West Elizabeth state that is essential to the survival of all living things. This forest is affectionately known as tall trees. Over half of the world's trees stand in these great assemblies. For many of us, they are places of mystery, but they are key to our climate. Trees are surely among the most magnificent of all living things. Some are the largest organisms on Earth, dwarfing all others. And these are the tallest of them all. These redwood trees are powered by the sun's rays for over half the year. Winds bring in warm, humid air from the Pacific Ocean, so the trees are able to grow all year round. They grow ten times faster than any other tree on the continent and live for thousands of years. These forests were growing here long before human beings walked the earth. They were in their prime 20 million years ago and existed before the Swiss Alps and Rocky Mountains were even raised. But life here in these forests is not as tranquil as you might think. They become victim to a devastating turn of events. This is the Blackbone Forest. And this is the aftermath of a forest fire. By the end of the summer, the sun has baked to the trees so intensely that they are as dry as tinder. As the fire begins, the temperatures can soar to over 700 degrees Celsius. Its aftermath is seemingly total destruction. But the forest is far from dead. Within only a few months, flowers and tree seedlings will rise from the soil. Many, in fact, would not have germinated if they had not received a baptism of fire.
light streaming down through the newly exposed canopy provides the energy for a surge of new growth. The older, well-established trees have survived, protected from their thick, fire-resistant bark. This natural resilience is essential to the continued health of these forests. We as human beings depend on forests for our survival. From the air we breathe to the stability of the climate throughout the world. Yet despite our dependency on forests, we are still allowing them to disappear. If we choose to give forests time and space, they could reclothe the earth. With much of the rich and varied species of plants and animals of which we have so recently taken from it. A future with more forests is key to the survival of the entire planet. Join us next time as we travel to the very south of North America. To the state of New Austin. The final part of our journey to discover the natural wonders of the five states.